Today we're back down in the bee yard. Let's get into it. Let's have a quick look in this honey super. Good weight, plenty of nectar. It looks like they're finding some nectar from somewhere. This frame's the same. Not much on this side. All these frames are basically the same. Good population though. Plenty of bees up in this top box. Let's get into the bottom box and suss out what's happening in there. Really good bee population. Good coverage on the frames. First thing I notice is there's a lot of drones. So that could indicate a hive that's ready to swarm. That second frame in and look at that brood pattern. That's bloody beautiful. And on the other side, wow. Can't spot the queen. Pop this one aside. So outside frame. What would you expect to see on the outside frame? So you'd expect to see some nectar. You'd expect to see some pollen. Really light. So I'm expecting to see eggs. No, not a lot happening on that side. More drone. Gonna shake this off quickly and have a look. A little bit of pollen. Nothing on that side. Third frame in. Lots and lots of drone brood. I think from memory, this comb here was already drone comb. So it's probably a reaction for them, a natural reaction for them to when they lay this out to draw it out as drone comb. So I'm not too concerned about the amount there. And that would probably explain why we've got so many drones in this colony. I could probably swap this out at some point. So we're looking for our red marked queen. We'll smoke these guys back down a bit. And here again, lots of drone comb, drone capped brood. I haven't seen any eggs yet. Oh, there's plenty of larvae. You've only got to see one egg to know your queen's around. 
and there's eggs down in this spitty down here so I'm happy Queen's still in the hive so in comparison to the hive next door hive next door's got a box full of honey on it or a box full of nectar and this one is pretty light a bit agitated I didn't think they would be this agitated these guys uh, good genetics, so I would have thought they were a bit more quiet. I've got a lot of bees, not a lot of bees, but I've got a few bees floating around my head. Again, more drones. Eggs in those empty cells. Population. Yeah, a little bit cranky these guys. Wonder why. Anything's possible. Maybe they went queenless this morning. Maybe they went queenless yesterday. They're definitely flying. Plenty of eggs. If they want to make another queen, if they need to make another queen, they can. Cranky pants. Yeah, haven't spotted the queen. This queen's usually pretty easy to find. No, I haven't seen her yet. Definitely agitated. Not angry, just agitated. So I'm going to close these guys up. Let them get back to doing what they want to do. She might be on this other frame. Oh, well, time will tell, won't it? If there's one thing that'll fix a hive, it's time. All right, close these guys up. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like our videos, throw us a like, throw us a comment. So I thought I'd let you guys have a bit of a look inside this hive. So this is the blue hive. Just look at this population. They've laid out seven full, or eight full frames of eggs. So these guys originally came from the green hive. So their temperament seems pretty good. They're not coming at me. So that's always a nice thing. But look here, gently give them a bit of a brush and there's just brood, eggs down in here, larvae through here. So this queen is exceptional. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't put a box on these guys, whether they'd swarm or not. Yeah, for me, this is a massive population. So I'll pop another box on them. 
I'd like to see the Queen. They're definitely not queenless. Well, they weren't a day and a half ago, two days ago. A couple of little cups here and there. But the drone population isn't massive. So I'd say they're probably not going to swarm. Caught them just in time. It's been a bit of rain down here. And they, there's not a lot of stores. See, there's larvae all the way through here. Eggs up in here. These guys are just hatching here. Look at that. And again, look, just a huge coverage of bees. So I bought a few spare boxes down with me, so I'll plonk them on. And again, brood, eggs, And last but not least, let's see what we come up with here. So a bit of br drone brood through here, eggs and larvae could indicate thinking about swarming. We'll give them heaps of room. I might shake this frame off so we can have a better look. Yeah, so there you go. So drone brood. I'll go and get this box ready. I'll plonk it on. So I didn't bring a queen excluder with me today. Didn't think that I was going to be putting it on any boxes based on the feedback I've had from the guys down here that it's been pretty windy, a bit of rain, and the fact that the clover's gone. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just swap some of these out. Plenty of warm weather. I'm not worried about chilling the brood. There's massive amounts of bees, so. So there we go. I've got the option to take it top box off this or a bottom box off this, make a walk away split at some point. This will now be two brood boxes. So if you have a look here, that one's got four frames of brood, that one's got four frames of brood. I'll end up putting a strap on those at some point. So there we have it, Blue Hive, two boxes of brood. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, throw us a like, throw us some suggestions. Love to hear your feedback, love to hear your knowledge. See you on the next one.